it's Vicki and today I'm here to talk about my quarter two stats. So this is like all the bookish info for the months of April, May, and June. So I'll talk about, like I said, stats like um, genre breakdowns and number of books read and that kind of fun stuff. And then I'm also going to do a little bit of a goal check in and let you know how those are going. So let's dive in. First stat that I want to share is the number of books that I read in quarter two, and that was 24. So a little bit less than what I read in quarter one, but still like a really solid number. So my goal for the entire year is to read 60 books, and I am currently at 52. So I'm very close to reaching that goal. I really think I'm going to up that number like I tend to do every year. I always set it at 60 so that I don't put pressure on myself, and then I usually end up raising it. <laughs> so don't be surprised if next quarter that number has jumped up. But yeah, I'm really happy with that goal uh, because like I said in the beginning of the year when I set my goals, I always like to have a goal of reading at least five books a month. And as long as I'm doing that, I feel happy and good. So that's a good number. Okay, some other fun stats for you guys. Uh, the number of pages that I read in quarter two was 8,264, which seems pretty good. I mean, I did have a very chunky book in there. Uh, Don Quixote was like a thousand, almost a thousand pages. So that certainly helped boost that number up. And then of the 24 books I read, 12 of them were print, one was an ebook, and 11 were audiobooks. Uh, I had two rereads this quarter. I reread Matilda by Roald Dahl, which was a five-star read. And also another five-star read that was a reread was Dolores Claiborne by Stephen King. And then I had no DNFs this quarter. So apparently I was liking everything I was reading to the point that at least I didn't feel like I had to DNF a book. Okay, genre breakdown time. So this is kind of interesting because I don't, I don't know if this has happened in a while, but the genre that I have read the most this quarter was contemporary uh, with five. And I don't know, it must have just been the mood I was in or whatever, <laughs> but that definitely uh, is usually not the case. Um, but the next one is no surprise. I've read four horror books <laughs> in the quarter and yeah, that's not shocking. Usually horror is at the top. So yeah, um, let's see. Followed by this one is a little bit surprising. I did read three YA books. I don't know this year. I just feel like I have been reading a little bit more YA, but it is very specific. Like it has to be a topic I'm really interested in or something like that. Uh, I'm a little bit picky about my YAs, but I have been reading them more, which is kind of interesting. Okay, then the next couple are all books that were, I've read two from each genre. So I've read two thrillers, two middle grades, two memoirs, and only two nonfiction, which seems weird. Usually I read more nonfiction than that. So I don't know, maybe I just wasn't in a nonfiction mood because normally that number is at least like four or five and for it to only be two, that's kind of weird. And then I also read one mystery or suspense, one classic, and one poetry. So in quarter two, I only had three five-star reads and two of them were rereads. So like I mentioned, Matilda and Dolores Claiborne were rereads and they were both five stars. So that means I had one book in this entire quarter that was new to me that I gave five stars to. So by default, that's my favorite book for the quarter and that is I Remember You by Ursa Sigurd Sigurdar Daughter. I've talked about this book I feel like so much. It's been on so many of my like lists and stuff as favorites for the year and recommendations and things because it's a five star book and it was the only one <laughs> this quarter. This is a mystery horror novel. Uh, that has two different storylines going on that sort of converge. The one storyline is, I'm trying to remember what he was. Was he, he wasn't a cop, was he? I wanna say he worked somehow in like the medical field and he is like trying to solve a mystery. And then there's this other storyline going on with these three people that are renovating this creepy old house on this basically deserted island. <laughs> And the two stories, you know, you, you spend a lot of the book trying to figure out how they're connected. And then when they connect, it's just really awesome. So I really loved the atmosphere in this. Uh, it had some creepy parts. It was just, it totally grabbed me from the first chapter. I loved it. So yeah, if you like horror, you like mysteries, maybe a mixture of the two, definitely check this one out. 
All right, let's talk about goals. So like I mentioned, my goal, first goal that I always set is to read 60 books and I'm at 52, so that's awesome. And like I said, I'm probably gonna up that. I might even up it to 100, why not? I did hit 100 last year, barely. So that might be a good one to try. <laughs> I had a goal also to read more from my Kindle and once again, I am just utterly failing at that and I don't know why. I only read one book on my Kindle this quarter and it was a book that was sent to me for review. So I don't even know if that counts <laughs> because the whole point of having this goal was to read books that were already on my Kindle that I have put on my Kindle and I didn't read any of those. So yeah, I am sucking at that goal and I really need to start focusing on my Kindle. I wanted to also read more poetry in 2022 and I read one poetry collection this quarter so I'm doing pretty good with that goal. I think I've read now two or three and last year I think I read two uh, poetry collections so I would say I've pretty much met that goal technically but I still want to kind of try to read more um, as the year continues. I also wanted to read The Terror by Dan Simmons this year. That was like my big book that I chose to read for 2022. But I, because I didn't read it in the winter, uh, I'm probably now going to save it for the end of the year because it is a wintry book to me. Like it takes place in the Arctic. So I want to read it when it's cold outside and when I'm like hunkered down, like in a blanket and it's snowing out. That's kind of the vibe I want when I read that book. So it's probably going to get pushed back to the end of the year. Another goal that I always have is to read from my bookshelves because I do have quite a few unread books <laughs> on my shelves here. And so I always want to try to really knock that number down. And so um, of the 24 books that I read uh, this quarter, I read 15 of them were from my bookshelves. So not too bad. I wish it was a little bit higher. Uh, I mean, it's technically more than half, so that's fine. But it would have been nice to have a little more than that. So that's definitely a goal that I will continue to focus on throughout the year. Try to get that uh, unread books number on my shelves down. And then I wanted to read three classics in 2022. And since I read Don Quixote this quarter, I am now at two. Two out of three. So I just got to read one more classic this year and I will reach that goal. So that's awesome. And then the last goal that I had was to read five Stephen King books. During quarter one, I had a one book in progress that was a Stephen King book, and I finished that one. Plus, I read Dolores Claiborne, which is a reread, re so I feel like that shouldn't really count towards my five, because the point of that goal is to read five new to me Stephen King books, so I'm not doing so great on that goal. I really need to step it up in quarter three. All right, guys, so those are my stats for quarter two. It was... Okay, like I said, I didn't have very many five stars. Uh, the book, the number was good. Genres were kind of all over the place, which is, you know, nothing new. Um, and my goals uh, didn't do a whole lot this quarter to work on those goals. So maybe quarter three, I'll make that more of a priority. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, let me know down below um, some of your stats for quarter three or quarter two. Sorry, we're in quarter two. Um, how many books did you read? What was your favorite book for the quarter? I would love to know that stuff. And that's it. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week and I will talk with you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.